Well, it was 70 years ago this month when Adolf Hitler marked his first 100 days in power, an event marked by book burnings. Now there's a new exhibit called Fighting the Fires of Hate. It's open at the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. And Tom Negevin spoke to one Philadelphia woman about the memories it's bringing back for her. German university students called it an action against the un-German spirit. Authors from Helen Keller and Ernest Hemingway to Albert Einstein and Sigmund Freud were targeted. The centerpiece of the exhibit, actual footage of books burned all across Germany, a constant symbol of Nazi tyranny before and during World War II. In the middle of the night, and it was very, very loud. And there were many, many, many students. And much profanity. Hardy Kupferberg came to Philadelphia after being liberated from a German concentration camp in 1945. She was 10 years old, growing up in Berlin when she went with her father that May night in 1933. And I saw the smoke. I saw even the fire. I saw my father's very, very, very sad face and the tears were running down. At one bonfire in Munich, up to 70,000 people watched thousands of volumes of history, science, and fiction go up in flames. Along with film footage, the exhibit displays books that survived the burnings and documents America's strong reaction. In an open letter to the New York Times, Helen Keller writes, You can burn my books and the books of the best minds in Europe, but the ideas in them have seeped through a million channels and will continue to quicken other minds. I don't know this so much about this uh, history, and when I saw this, I, I yeah, I deeply I understand. If you just think about like what happens to them and put yourself in their place, it'll just make you feel awful. This is my father. Hardy Kupferberg lost more than 80 members of her family in Nazi death camps. Today, her home is filled with books. She remembers what her father said on that spring night. And I heard my father say, they're burning books. When they're burning books, they can burn people. And the exhibit, Fighting the Fires of Hate, will be at the Holocaust Museum till October 13th. After that, it will travel nationwide. But at this point, we have no word of any date being set here in Philadelphia.